Hey guys, and I move right here, and I just realized that it's a shout out Sunday this week. So, hi, shout out Sunday number twenty seven, by the way. So thank you for all the uh, new, old, um, well, subscribers and commenters and stuff. So here we don't have a very long list this time, but uh, let's get to it. I might have actually left off someone on the uh, bot slash one category, but I'll add next week, uh, in two weeks if I have any more. But, um, let's see, uh, start off with a pokey card X. Thank you for currently commenting, like, almost, I think, every video, I think, so far. And, uh, I did look at the comment today, and, um... He is doing a give his first giveaway, so go check out his channel, his in video, you know, just watch and whatever. Um, there is Gotta Collect Them All, Melanie Sweet Butterfly, Dark Magician eighty one, MingTube, and Pokemon Square. So that's the commenters part. So the bot slash one from recently. So these are all uh, bought from. I didn't win anything recently. I don't think. Um, well, there was one thing I won recently, but I forgot who it was from, because I know I didn't buy it, so, yes, kind of embarrassing that, <laughs> but it was, I don't think I actually put up a video, but I did put up a uh, story on my Instagram asking who it was from, and no one replied, so I don't know. Um, it was a uh, Pikachu movie promo with an Alakazam holo from, was it Bayset? It was from something, and another card, I think. People really should put, like, sign cards or something in there, or, like, little messages, because otherwise, <laughs> who knows who they're from. Well, this is good for my scrapbook, anyway. Um, anyway, moving on. We have J underscore the underscore Pokemon underscore lover underscore sales, because that's her sales page. But do check out her original page, too. She... Awesome, cause like she, cause she's in the U.S., so I'm in the U.K., and she, like, very nicely agrees to go out to you know, Walmart or Target to get the uh, American product, so she can send it to me. So that's that's awesome. She also, uh, if you saw from her uh, haul video, the. Pikachu Funko Pop. Awesome. It's the normal size, not the huge, massive one. But anyway, uh, nose. Okay. <clears throat> a Tangle Tamer. Very nice guy. Got loads of cool stuff for sale. Don't know if it's still for sale, but it was loads of cool stuff. Good prices, too. Uh, trainer underscore code. Awesome guy. Had loads of things, um... For sale, um, not sure if it's got anything for sale at the moment, but go check him out. He's got a new Twitter thing, but he's got a post about that, so go check it, go check him out. And Canto Native, or Underscore Native, which I have, th that guy sent to Jay, so she could send to me, because he only sends to US, and she agreed to be my middle person, which is awesome of her as well. But he's got good uh, prices and stuff for sale as well, so go check him out. Um, I think that's everybody on my list. So if anyone wants to shout out, as you know, comment t at least twice between now and in two weeks, which is the next uh, shout out video. Um, I can shout out, you know, other social medias or... Does other YouTube channels, I don't mind. This, you know, you can either comment below in the same video so people can just click on your name, or most of the time I have everyone in the uh, description box below. So if you ask for a shout out, just, you know, if you want it on a different, like, social media, as well as your Facebook, uh, or as well as your YouTube, it could be, you know, just comment it and give me the link for it. You know, you can send that link to the email below, because email below is mainly just for YouTube stuff. 
So on to the rambling section of this video. Let's see. Um, I skipped the uh, Pokemon Go Community Day this week because, like, first of all, I, I slept until 1 o'clock anyway. But um, Tornadile wasn't really a favorite Pokemon of mine, so I decided to skip anyway. And let's see. Next order of business. The... What's it called? Oh man, what was the word? Wizarding World Loot Crate. That's it. That should be coming near the end of the month or at the beginning of next month because the shipping is slow and it's, you know, international. Um, I will be getting the Akibento this month because it seems interesting. I mean, uh, out of the three anime that they advertised, I only haven't seen that uh, Lost Property something or other. But the other two are Cells at Work and Day to Live, which I've watched both of those. I mean, it's mainly for Cells at Work. So hopefully, um, their next one... Let me see if they actually have it up. But, um, I'll just quickly back to the other... Um, anime loot crate thing. Wait, no. I'm thinking of two different things. The Akibento, you have six more days to buy it, and it is the theme Resolve. Oh, yes. The uh, Heaven Sauce property was the third anime that they advertised. But. Moving on to the... I'm going back and forth here, it seems. But, um... The... Oh, man. The Wizarding World. Let me just put up the website. You can tell I did not think this through, so I'm doing it as I'm going along. So hopefully it finishes loading by the time... Okay. Load. Yes. Load network. Um, also, if uh, you guys didn't see the video, do watch. The video says, do you want a Q&A video? So far I have, I think, 11 questions. But uh, I'd like to maybe accumulate a little bit more questions. Because I don't want the video too short. <laughs> <clears throat> Do please ask me some questions that I can actually answer. <laughs> anyway. Okay. They have advertised the next um, Wizarding World Crate theme. Right, because the current theme that's coming up is I think, Traveling the Wizarding World or something. That's going to be arriving. So this next crate theme, which ends on the... 3rd of March, you have to pay by then, by 9pm PT. The crate's theme is The Beast Within. So, <clears throat> take off on a whirlwind journey through the streets of Paris, from the comfort of your own home. Celebrate the small screen release of Fantastic Beasts and Crimes Weird World, with this crate sure to release the beast. Sure to please the beast within. I haven't seen the movie, so this should be hopefully no spoilers or anything. Because I'm waiting for the DVD to come out. Because I don't really go to cinema much. But, um, yes. The crates are delivered January, March, May, July, September, November. But obviously, because of slow, uh, you know, shipping. Oh, they're, they changed the cr when the crates arrive between. It used to be 25th to whatever, but now it's the 28th to the 10th of the month. So, they changed the, uh, <laughs> dates. That's interesting. And it's four to six magical items. 
though technically you don't really need to see need to read these out because I've I've got this thing going on on the actual video anyway because I newly decided to print screen loads of bits and talk over bits so I don't think there's anything else because the uh, Pokemon Community Day thing they wouldn't have released the next Pokemon yet. Now it still shows Toad and Dial. And you would have learned a uh, Hydro Cannon for, for Alligator, by the way, if you didn't know that. Not that it matters right now because, like, it's done. Because <laughs> that was, you know, on Saturday. Which was yesterday. Man, I'm slow. Um. There isn't any other subscription boxes I'm subscribed to, just those two. Well, technically, really only one, like, on and off the other one. But, uh, yeah. Look forward to more mini pokey hauls from Instagram. I guess they're technically, you know, like, male videos, but I decided to name the other one. Name it a haul, anyway. Because so I tried to wait for at least three or four different people. So, so far for Poke Hall number 10, I've only got three people, so I'm waiting for another one to arrive if I bought from someone. I should really keep track properly, but I kind of forget. Ooh, it's almost 12 minutes. Okay, so, um, yeah, I've been buying pins a lot recently, so that's eating up some of what I spend on Pokemon. And... I did get some Dragon Ball Z cards for my brother, but that doesn't include in a Poke Hall because that's not for me and it's not Pokemon. Though I did put two Yu Gi Oh things in a Poke Hall, but who cares? Um, there isn't anything else, I believe. So that ends this rambling session because like, it's almost 12 and a half minutes. So look forward to all this random stuff that I've been rambling about. So, thank you for listening. Like, subscribe for more. Ring that doorbell for notification. Over and out. Oh, last thing before you go. Do please check out my sales page on my Instagram. I have, you know, like really low prices. I'm, you know, updating some of the prices and stuff for more. The prices from the uh, UK point of view. Because obviously, why am I doing it from the US point of view when I live in the UK? I mean, yeah, but some of the uh, reverse hollows and normal things will, you know, might be slightly more UK, US point of view than the UK, but who's counted? I normally use a TCG player, Troll and Toad and Troll, yeah, that one, in eBay when I compare prices and like if there's a huge like difference and I like try and do it slightly below the highest and slightly above the lowest, you know, just get a sort of a medium feel to it. And um oh man, what was I gonna say? I forgot. Um Yes, I don't really sell on Facebook because, like, I prefer to leave it at one or two platforms because the other platform is obviously eBay that I sell other stuff on too. But I might transfer it to Instagram maybe because I don't have to, you know, pay the eBay fees and stuff. I mean, who knows? I might leave some stuff up on there anyway. But, like, commons will be like. I don't know. Commons on commons would be like 5 to 10 P. Then like rares, like regular rares, maybe 15 pence. Then reverse hollows ranging from 10 P to the pound so far. Um, because the pound one is the reverse hollow, uh, Unknown, which was from my really old, old set, but uh, obviously I've got some reverse energies, 
which I might lower from three pounds to two fifty each. I don't know. Then like there's the normal hollows ranging from twenty p, I think, to pound something or a bit more. Then like there's you know ultra rares which will go up a bit more ranging from maybe 50 to I think the highest was maybe 10 I'm not sure so far but do check out because so far I've only got the reverse hollows and my code cards up for sale but and code cards are between was it 10 or 15 to 30 or so there's one that was a uh, pre-release kit so that's maybe 60 p so you know do check it out um yes if you can't find them if i forget to put the link below if you can't find the link go to my instagram link then i uh linked it in my main profile part so just tap that and go there so thank you again for listening on my little sales pitch here. <laughs> uh, doodles. Oh, here are some Pokemon Online uh, game codes for free from the newsletter. Have at it.